want to go over crop changeover on your gleaner combine. This is a very simple process compared to competitive machines. There's just a few simple things you need to, to switch over. The first thing we'll cover is the header drive. Uh, this position here would be the corn setting. Um, very simple process. Basically, you release tension on this drive. Um, a little trick, if you can make an extended uh, deep well socket, it makes this process very fast. Um, and then you come down here once you've removed belt tension and you reverse this pulley. There's a decal right here that tells you how to reroute the belt, tension it back up, uh, and you're done. The second part you want to review on your combine when you're doing your crop changeover is your chopper speed drive. As you can see here, we have our larger pulley on, and this would be for small grains and soybeans, uh, virtually any crop other than corn. Um, so it's really easy to change over. There's a smaller corn pulley stored up here. And um, basically you take your header latch wrench. There's an easy quick release uh, tension up here. So you can release tension on this drive, pull the belt off. And with uh, a little electric impact or something, you can easily swap out the two pulleys. There's a nice little diagram right here that explains how you do redo the belt uh, routing. Um, so you get that smaller pulley on for corn. Uh, or switch back to wheat if you're getting ready for wheat. Uh, follow the belt routing and it's easy as, as easy as that. The third thing you'll want to check on your machine for crop changeover is your rotor speed. We've got a simple two-speed gearbox that can be shifted with this handle here and there's a decal right up here telling you how to shift from high to low. Um, so once again very simple process uh, just takes a matter of seconds and can set your rotor speed uh, range for either wheat, milo, beans, uh, whatever crop you're going into. All right, so the last area to check on your gleaner combine for crop changeover is your concaves. Um, now the nice thing is with the gleaner, you do not have to change your concaves per crop. Um, about the only thing you might want to look at is we do have some filler plates uh, that bolt in to cover up the first few uh, sets of bars for a hard thrash wheat condition. Um, they're very simple to put in, on, especially on the S-Series machines. Um, there's just uh, two bolts per concave section, four concave sections. Um, with a little impact, uh, you can zip those in and out in a matter of a few minutes. Um, so that would be something, once again, good for hard thrash wheat conditions. Um, but uh, other than that, there's really no changeover uh, from crop to crop on your concaves. The crop changeover on a gleaner combine is very simple and quick to do. Uh, if you're changing from wheat to soybeans to milo, uh, very minimal process. Um, probably about the only thing is actually changing your rotor speed gear selection range. And then the rest is virtually in cab settings. Um, now, if you are going to corn, uh, like I showed, you would change your uh, header speed drive and your chopper speed drive. Um, maybe check for some filler plates. But uh, even if you had to do all that um, with an impact, maybe 15, 20 minutes, you could have it all done. Thank you for joining us today, and good luck with your harvest.